Hey everybody, this is going to be a frame. It's going to be the H220 Scorpion from Banggood. This one does not come in a box. It just comes in a bag. And you have all the aluminum parts and all metal hardware. So, let's put this together. It's not like any of the other carbon fiber. You can see the difference right there, even on camera. So it's a pretty nice looking carbon fiber. You can see there's two holes there, two holes there. Obviously those line up, same on this side holes all line up there. And your hardware. This one will be getting built. I was just going to go ahead and build it right now, but I want to wait for a different set of motors. I always kind of sort out screws by length. The four longer ones, I can already tell right now, are going to go through the four inside holes. And the holes are very, very tight. Just be careful when you're doing this with the really tight holes that you don't cross thread these nuts. I can see that happening because I probably would prefer the holes being a little bit looser because that's what happens you get it tightened down into the carbon fiber and it doesn't want to tighten under there I think personally I'll relieve the holes a little bit but I don't like it that tight where you gotta actually thread through the carbon fiber so I'm gonna just very lightly so I can just barely push the screws through and I just went through and just barely open those holes on those just enough so that I didn't have to force the screws through. They're still really, really super tight, but you can push the screw through now. So now you don't have any worries about when you're coming through that plate, that plate, trying to get on your threads correctly without stripping them. I would suggest that you do that if you don't and you cross thread it into that nut. I'm not going to say I told you so. Okay, so back to the assembly. Going to take, these are going to be the front arms, because they got the holes for to go through here. So those just line up with there. And that lines up with there. And like I said, the long screws go in the center hole the center fork because it's going to come up through see how nice and and it's still you don't have any slop in there you just don't have to fight it I'm going to leave them a little bit loose so I can get them all in there That's the two front arms. And the back one. Well, I left that one a little tight yet. That's okay, just go nice and easy, make sure it grabs the threads. And the last one, the arms do all contact in the center, so they're all locked together. You can see through there, 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 and there, they all contact together, so they're not going to be 
loose and flappy. And then the shorter screws will go in through the arm. You do have to push on the arm a little bit to get the hole to line up as you're coming in there. So just push on the arm a little bit, that hole will line right up and you can run that screw in. Same for the rest of them. really good so far it was just that one there that needed to be relieved because it was too tight and it wasn't really lining up very well and that one looks really good too So now, a little back plate goes on, it locks in your XT60, let's see if I got one here. On some XT60s like mine, it's got a negative sign and a positive sign there. That's going to be a little tough if you can just take and file it off or in the way. Boy, that baby was tight. And you can see that this little ridge right here will actually tuck down inside of here and lock it right in there just tight. Just like that, locks it right in there. I just had to stick it in backwards, didn't I? <laughs> okay. That is tight. I like that. That's pretty cool. And then, just pitch this on. I like using the long ones to hold the standoffs and the spacers in. These ones don't really matter too much because it's a nice wide base. That's the reason I like this frame. Both this and the any of the other frames that have this metal hardware like this because you got more surface area contacting which makes it less likely to break off sideways or bend over sideways. Like the last frame that I built, all my standoffs bent over and smashed down onto my stack and shorted out a few things. But yeah, that's cool that XT60 fits in there. I like that. That's a neat design feature. Whoever originated that. Then put the front plate together. Okay, for the front camera mount, the little screws just go through here. With this plate. That's the four Tiny screws. I'm just going to leave everything a little bit loose so I can make sure everything kind of gets a dry fit. And so it's all pretty self explanatory. You can only get it to go on there one way. I got those holes really tight again. I don't really like that very much. Now, it'll go together.
put the longer screws in the bottom and put the standoff in the bottom. And we'll see what it looks like down there. So I know it'll fit like that in the bottom. Yeah, that wouldn't be bad. And then the other plate. It's just going to be the opposite of that. So this will go on like that. That will go on like that. That'll be the only tough part because you gotta thread this through here, through there, and through that standoff. Oh. I guess I could have put the camera in there quick. <laughs> I'll throw the camera in there quick. It's not as easy as the rest of them where you can just put the camera in later. You gotta do it while you're putting it together. And that's a run cam swift too. Just in case anybody's wondering. And it fits in there pretty very nice and snug. None of the camera sticks out beyond the plane of this face here. So it's totally protected. And that's the 2.1. Uh, the mounting holes line up perfect. Perfect. Couldn't ask for a better fit for a camera. I mean, it, there's no screws even in it. And it's like in there really nice and solid. So I like that. That's really cool. Oops. These screws are just a hair too long. It gets kind of sketchy. They like they bottom out before they get too tight. So just be careful you don't snap these ones off. Because I could see that happening. It would be nice if the threads were a little bit longer in this block here. They're just it just doesn't feel very good. See it starts getting really tight and there's about about a millimeter left or about a half a millimeter left. So I just kind of work it a little bit because that's the end of the the tap because I'm sure they didn't use a bottoming tap just work it a little bit and they'll get tight just loosen and tighten loosen and tighten just a little bit at a time when you get towards the bottom but they do tighten down so and it's not flopping around on there it does get tight plate goes on just like that and then use your last four screws to put that on there Man, kind of wish they would have went a little bit bigger on these holes. So I got to relieve these four holes on here too. So you don't have to relieve those holes very much, just a tiny little bit. I am going to build this one because I don't have a top mounted 5 inch at all. I have a top mount 6 inch, the TCR, but this is definitely really cool. There is a lot of space between here and here which is going to make this top plate susceptible to damage. So what I am going to do, I'm going to put standoffs in here when I go to build it and then that will only make a distance of about this far which is a lot better but this is really nice carbon fiber I mean I'm pushing really hard on it and it's not flexing all that much and that flex will just about all come out of there when I put those standoffs in there I'll probably have to cut some down I'll get you a measurement on it so you can actually order them and I'll put a link to 
the standoffs in the description. So the standoffs are going to be 23 millimeters. So I'll link the standoffs in the description. The arms on this are 3.6. It says 4 millimeter on the listing. 3.69. Three point six, so it's a little over three and a half. And the top plate, two, and the other two plates in there are two, and the arms are three and a half. Would have been nice to see them at four, but three and a half is still fine. I'm not worried about it. I definitely like almost everything about this frame, except for I don't really like that the arms don't line up with the holes. It makes it look just kind of a little bit of an afterthought. This doesn't line up perfectly. There's a little bit of lip there. I mean, if you want to get nitpicky at it, you get nitpicky at it, but for the price, I definitely say it's worth it. For the quality of the carbon fiber and the quality of everything else, how, the cam how nice the camera fits in there, the nice camera protection it has, top mount, freestyle frame. Any questions, comments, need any help with anything, just ask a question. Need to help, so like, subscribe. All the purchase links are in the description. For anything you might want to know that's not there, just ask me and I can link you to whatever you need. So have a great day.